This is the entrance to Tower Hamlets Cemetery, one of London's magnificent seven cemeteries. I've not been here before, so we'll just wander around and just see what's, uh, what's to be seen, who's commemorated here. What they've done here is turn this cemetery into a wild nature park with paths around it and families and uh, people just use it for walking and enjoying the quiet and peace. It's a nice use of an old cemetery. Ellen, daughter of Llewellyn and Ellen Llewellyn. And on this side, Ellen Llewellyn, wife of Llewellyn. Llewellyn. Samuel Sharwood, who after 59 years of happy married life, died in 1892. And then beneath is his wife, who died in 1904. It's just so peaceful and so picturesque. One of the loveliest cemeteries I've visited. Just the bird song. William George Westcott, born at Corsand in Cornwall. Various members of the family. A particularly large memorial here. George Huxley Beer, Henry Beer, Jane Beer, and other various members of the Beer family. I'm not quite sure what this is at the bottom here. Is it flames? No, it's wheat. Corn. There we are. James Nelson. Erected by the scholars and teachers of the East London Tabernacle School. Will Crooks, after a life of loving service to the nation, died 1921, and a list of all the positions he held. This one commemorates the lives of 190 people of Poplar, who were among those killed in air raids during the Second World War. Deep amongst the trees here is a memorial to William Alfred Fisher, who was drowned on board the Princess Alice in 1878. Now the Princess Alice was a paddle steamer 
that collided on the River Thames and between 600 and 700 people died from the Princess Alice. It's the greatest loss of life of any British inland waterway accident. You're free to wander wherever you want in this graveyard, in this cemetery. It's quite amazing. Rows of stones here. Tamar Osborne. A dog in the background from people walking through the park. Lots of these are quite difficult to read. Come down here, there's a one that's been cleaned up a bit. Love him in memory of Jane Elizabeth, Henry Joseph, Robert. I'll probably fall into a grave in a minute, scrabbling along here. It was quite peaceful in here till that dog started. There's uh, Sarah Brittain over there. Catherine Jane. Very lovely place, opened as a park and being used as a park, yet still a graveyard. William Trundle, 1961. And as you come along one of the paths, in a clearing here, a meeting of paths, is a very large statue to various members of the Francis family. And then the paths go off into the woods again. Captain Henry J. Porter, 1916, and Lieutenant Corporal Harry Porter, who was killed in action in France, aged just 18 years. Just a little further along, there's one here to Arthur Frederick Chantry, who fell in action 1916, in his 21st year. Now that's an unusual surname, Thomas Wiggett and Jemima Maria Wiggett. And so we return to where we started. If I had to rate this graveyard on the basis of tranquility and how picturesque it was, then it would come tops. It's just a lovely place to be. Don't think we found anyone particularly famous in here, but I would thoroughly recommend this as a beautiful relaxing walk and the
council or the friends of the graveyard, whoever have looked after it, have done a tremendous job.